everybody. We're back. You know, my first guest tonight, one of the stars of that 70s show, now he's getting great reviews for his role in the new movie, In Good Company. And this weekend, he's hosting Saturday Night Live. Please welcome Topher Grace. <laughs> This is, of all the shows you have to come do, this is always my, oh. my favorite show Oh, that's to do. nice of you to say. And it's nice, I know you're working on Saturday Night Live, which is in the building, so Oh, it's great, yeah, I just took an elevator down here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of effort to get here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, and then I was like, screw it, it's yeah. in the same building. Yeah, Whatever. might as well. Get a candy bar, do Conan, get up yeah. there. Now, um, can sound weird. Uh, so much yeah, to talk to you about. But it was a good candy bar. <laughs> yes, it was. So much to talk about. Saw this movie the other day, which was was great. I really loved oh, the movie, you. and uh, and you're getting a lot of great reviews. But we have to talk immediately about I think the most important salient point, which is that your love interest in this movie, Scarlett Johansson, yes, and you have a makeout scene with Scarlett Johansson, and uh, <laughs> and I love that you know you're a professional actor, you've achieved a lot of things, but you can tell that the minute I saw that I was like, I bet Topher's so stoked about this whole thing. Yeah, what's really important is that we captured it on film. Yeah. <laughs> you have like proof. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you guys can all go see it. Yeah, um, yeah. This weekend. Uh, <laughs> no, it, you it pervert. Was, yeah. It was a. Uh, it was a like. She's by the way like the nicest, like funniest. Yeah. Uh, like I'm not just saying that. Like really, she's a nice down to earth. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever had her on the show? We actually had. She was on the show. She did a bit for us on the show when she was what, like 11 years old or something. Oh, weird. She, yeah. Well, I'm I'm in, I'm 80 years old apparently. <laughs> no, and she was uh, just starting out in acting when we were and we were first on the air. Well, no, she, she did... was only 19 when we did the movie. So, yeah. Uh, that probably wasn't too long. Ago. She's, yeah. I, you know, she's very beautiful, and uh, I, you know, when you do one thing in a movie, you wind up doing, you know, 30 takes of it. Sure. And the, like, extra 40 that I'm like, I don't know, I don't feel like I got it. Like, <laughs> one more take, you know, because I don't feel like I got the scene right. Do you intentionally screw things up when you're kissing yeah. her so you have to do it again? Like, you're knocking yeah. over <laughs> furniture all around you. Oh, sorry! <laughs> what? Let's try it again. Um, yeah, call her Scarlet. Yeah. No, whoops. <laughs> so, uh, so then at the end of the day, I said to her, like, you know, as a joke, kind of sarcastically, I said, like, so, like, who's your best screen kiss of all time? And she goes, I guess she didn't pick up on it. She goes, probably you. Whoa. Was that on film? Was that captured? Cause no, now no, just, no, now no. We, well, so now we just have your word for it. You know? yeah, well, I did make like an announcement to the entire crew. Good. Like, right. I was like, oh, okay. Excuse me. Right, like, right. Everybody here. Yeah, and then I went and told the costume people, and there was some press on set that day, which was great. Right, you got the word out. Yeah. So. Now, have you done uh, like a, a full-on sex scene in a movie before? I have, yeah. The, this year, I also, in a small independent film called P.S. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Mom. Thank yeah. <laughs> the same person excited about the big inaugural coming up is now. So, uh, so, so what was that like? What was with uh, Laura Linney? Yeah, who's a, another phenomenal actress. And I was, I was, uh, it was, <laughs> it was the first time since tenth grade that I like went over. I went over to her dressing room, and it was the first time I've said like, like, may I touch you here? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that it's all not, yeah, because. When you're first starting out in the makeout business, you have to ask questions first. Well, right? I didn't know. I mean, I and I didn't. I certainly didn't want to like touch her somewhere, and then I mean, because it's like a right. I don't know. A lot of it was a very small movie, but yeah. uh, it was a pretty intense sex scene, and I was like really nervous, and uh, I, I wanted to be the gentleman and sure. kind of hold her hand through the scene, and right, right. you know, it's gonna be okay, Laura. <laughs> and I was so nervous that she wound up holding my hand and it's going to be okay Topher, you're going to be fine. I heard you broke down crying and she yeah, carried yeah, you away. Yeah. Good, yeah. I'm very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> now you work, it, it, you do a great job in this film and also uh, Dennis Quaid getting great notices for this movie. Yeah. You guys are, it's an interesting, interesting story. You guys worked before in the movie Traffic. We right. worked together before. I didn't work with him on screen but there was kind of, you know, fortunately that movie did really well so there was kind of a three month you know, post-release party where we just kind of went around and, as a cast, picked up awards. So I, I was hanging out with him once, and, and he's a great guy. Dennis is, like, mm -hmm. one of the nicest guys on earth. He was a big reason why I got this part, too. It was really nice of him to kind of speak up. There, it should have gone to someone more famous, I think. <laughs> but I was up I, for that part, Yeah, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> 
uh, with 26-year-old yeah, Carter Durie. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, the storyline was changed. I'm in a time machine, and you'll see. Right, um, right, right. <laughs> that's on a DVD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So know, it's all explained. Yeah. I was I was going on a first date, and this is four years ago when Traffic came out, and I said to Dennis, you know, I'm really nervous about, you know, where should I take this girl? And he said, oh, come to see my band perform. And I thought, oh my God, perfect. He's in this band called The Sharks, mm -hmm. and I figured. This way, I can, you know, I can bring this girl to this concert and, you know, be like, hey, it's, it's my buddy, DQ, up right. on stage. What's up, DQ? You right, know, whatever. Right, right. And uh, it was the worst decision I ever made in my life. <laughs> He's like the sexiest man alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and not only is he like, you know, jamming out on the guitar and singing, but because he played Jerry Lee Lewis, he's got his shoes off and he's like playing the piano with his feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the whole car ride home, it was like, you know, He's so sexy for his age, and so versatile, and, yeah. Is this her talking or you? Who is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I was gonna say. It'd be a very confusing date. <laughs> yeah, now you know how I got the, the job in yeah. the company. Yeah, of course he spoke up for you, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, your, your, your family's not in show business you come from like that's like me no one in my family you know was was in show business growing up is your family excited about the fact that you're you're in this world now do they get do they get giddy about it uh not they're not too excited about it but i invited them and in, you know we filmed here in new york mm -hmm. in good company most of the film and uh <laughs> and there's another dentist story i introduced him to my parents and uh in i come from a pretty healthy gene pool mm -hmm. and you know my mom's an attractive lady and, and Dennis said I think to be nice but accidentally kind of an earshot of her he said oh your mom's cute and that was it like it's been the worst year for my dad like from that point on <laughs> really <laughs> since and uh and then when we did the junket like a couple weeks ago in New York you know all these films are in the four seasons mm -hmm. you're kind of hawking the film right and uh I friend of a friend of mine is Liam Neeson and so we were having a drink in the bar and he said like why are your parents late to pick you up for dinner and i said well my mom has to get her hair straightened because she's meeting dennis tomorrow yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so i told him the whole story and then they showed up and i said oh you know liam get out of here you don't want to meet my parents right. and he said no no i'd be he's a charming guy yes. Liam Neeson. yeah so he said <laughs> you're not the only one with a crush <laughs> oh yes he's very charming i <laughs> So anyway, I, sa I said, uh, you know, get out of here. And he said, no, I'll stay. And I introduced my parents to him. My dad was embarrassing, as parents always are. And then right. my mom uh, said, oh, hi, Liam. Nice to meet you. And he said, Mrs. Grace, Dennis Quaid told me you were cute, but he didn't do justice. Oh. <laughs> so now she's no talking to her, yeah. probably. No, she's back. She works at a private school in Connecticut. And yeah. she's probably telling people that Dennis and Liam are, like, fighting over Yeah, her. right. <laughs> It's this sick love triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your poor dad. Uh, well, we have a clip here from In Good Company, and uh, I don't want to give away anything people aren't supposed to know, but the, the basic storyline is that you come in to this job, you're very young, obviously, in the film, and you come in above Dennis, and it's very awkward. That's it, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. a huge corporate takeover, yeah. So right. I become his boss. And, and he's this great salesman, down-to-earth guy, and suddenly has to deal with you being his boss. And I think uh, that pretty much explains everything when you know. Let's take a look at this uh, clip from In Good Company. How old are you? I'm 26 years old. 26? You're my new boss. Uh, I guess so. That's, uh, that's quite a... What a kung fu grip you got there, Dan. Oh, well, well, what kind of experience do you have in ad sales? Uh, well, I'll be honest with you, Dan, not much. How much? Um, none. None. That's not much. But I'm a fast learner, Dan. Hey, now that you know how old I am, how old are you? I'm 51. It, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like a year older than my dad, so that's weird. That's a great. I think the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I love yeah. The shooting. So I love the hair, too. I love that the, your hair in the movie is. Uh, is Bacon grease? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a style that will not catch on. <laughs> 
but uh, and I got we got to mention this before you go. Um, that '70s show, uh, your your affiliation with them is about to end, right? Yeah, I have. When I go back, I have about seven episodes left, so it's getting really close to the end. And right. uh, um, I never cry. Ever. Right. Right. Uh, right. Even in like Finding Nemo, right. I never cry. <laughs> you soulless uh, bastard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a feeling. You know, the last night, I'm just going to yeah, lose it. Yeah, just completely lose it. Yeah. Well, you're on to good things. In good company, people are raving about this movie. It opens nationwide tomorrow. And you're hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend with musical guest, The Killers. And you'll be great. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank Topher Grace, thanks so much. Nia Long coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around.